What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Game for Daniel, aka Big D. And today we are going to be modding our original Xbox. If you guys want to see a video where I modded my original PS2, link is in the description. Be sure to subscribe and like. And let's go ahead and hop right into this. All right, so obviously make sure your original Xbox is turned on. And this is what you should be seeing at the main menu screen. Right here is your hard drive. Okay, so this is the first website we need to go to, the soft mod tool. It has a bunch of stuff here if you wanna read through it. But right here is where we want to click pre-build download. I'll leave the link in the description for the website. And right here, we want to click on this and we want to make sure we download um, you can download that way or this way by clicking on it okay on to another website uh, we want to make sure we download pre-built 64 bit and down here we want to download the other one 64 bit version and I will also leave the link in the description for this website you will also need this USB that plugs into the controller port for the Xbox for this to work. Here's the tricky part, trying to find a flash drive that's low as 500 megabytes, no higher than two gigabytes. So what we're gonna do is go back to the computer here and we're gonna right click on this file right here, let it run, make sure it runs and it installs. After that, we want to go to Fat Explorer and we want to right click on here. Make sure you install 7-zip if you don't have it on your computer. And we're gonna click on extract here. Go back up, we want to click on the Fat Explorer that's unzipped. Scroll down and click on Fat Explorer. You wanna hit yes. And this is what you should be seeing right here. What we want to do is go ahead and install. And once you install this, you will want to restart your computer. Uh, go ahead and restart your computer, and then we will come right back to here. So, load it back up, we're right back here. Now we click on device, and this will load up your flash drive. Go ahead and plug in your flash drive that you formatted off your Xbox using that USB controller port. Make sure you format it through the Xbox. If it asks through the computer to format it, do not format it through the computer or this will ruin it. So click on device, go ahead and click on the USB, load device, go ahead and click on data. And right here, go ahead and install mount data on X. All right, so you're good with that. Go ahead and go to Xbox soft modding and you want to extract Xbox soft modding to its own folder. Go ahead and click on that other folder and this is what you'll be seeing right here. We wanna be focusing on soft mod package. We click on that and in game is what we wanna worry about. So we want to right click on this and we want to extract it to its own folder. And boom, there's the separate folder of in game. Click on that and these are the three we need to copy and paste on our flash drive. So we'll go ahead and highlight all this right here. Right click, go down to copy, go to your flash drive, and right here, we go ahead and right click and click on paste and go ahead and let it install the rest of it. And that is literally it. Close all that out. Make sure you go back to this screen real quick and unmount before you end everything and go back to your flash drive. And just to be safe, right click and eject your flash drive all right so we'll go ahead and plug in our flash drive into the usb port through the controller port through the xbox and we'll go ahead and load up the flash drive and it's going to say please wait give it a few minutes and if if it works it goes black you see your xbox doing crazy colors um if it stays black then most likely just restart your Xbox, try it again until you get it to work. But you know the mod is working when your Xbox is staying red. Once you finally get it to pop up on your screen, this is what you'll get. You wanna click A on your controller and let it do the rest. It will install everything it needs onto the Xbox. And it's really simple from here. 
So at this point, you're just letting it install all the mods onto the Xbox. If you do this correctly, this is what you will get. So after that, it will tell you thank you for choosing Xbox Soft Modding Tool. It's going to do a few more extractions and just let it do its thing. Don't mess around with it. It's going to ask you, do you understand to these terms, blah, blah, blah. Um, it, there's some important stuff if you want to read through all that. Just you hit A, letting it know, I understand. And yeah, so your Xbox is going to restart. And once it restarts, the mod is going to kick in. Your Xbox is going to do different colors on the, the, this is all normal part of the mod. So don't like freak out thinking your Xbox is broke. We have more that it's gonna be doing. As you can see right here, my Xbox is showing yellow or like orange. It's normal. So after a while, once it's finally done, this is the logo you get when you boot it up. And behold, your Xbox is now finally modded. And this is the home screen of it. There's actually a lot of stuff you can do on here. It's really cool. What really made me want to upgrade and mod my Xbox is the fact that I can copy my disc to the hard drive. And that's mainly why I wanted to do this. I like backing up my games because you just never know. And it's really cool. You can actually customize the skin. So we go to the system here. Um, we got a bunch of stuff here, but we go to skins and these are all the skins you can just mess around with. Like you couldn't do this before back in the day on your Xbox. So you're really getting your true potential out of the original Xbox. And it almost feels like a modern console again. Like it's crazy. So yeah, just going through the different skins of the Xbox. It's, you can literally go around and just mess around with it. It's really cool. I like it. Um, so yeah, you got a lot of options here. All right, but this is what I'm gonna show you. Copy this to HCD. You go ahead and click yes when whatever game you wanna install to your hard drive. So for instance, this is what the Xbox looks like too once it's modded. It shows the orange light just to show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in Mortal Kombat Deception and this is gonna be the game I'm gonna install onto the hard drive just to show you guys what it does and how it works it's really simple and this is my favorite part of the mod so we got the game in here go ahead and it tells you what games in there really cool so we go ahead and copy this to HDD you want to click yes and boom it's installing it to the hard drive and you can hear the disc like moving around you can hear the laser lens but what i really like about this so you can do this on the ps2 modded which again link in the description but i feel like the original xbox installs the games a lot more faster and better than what the ps2 does modded so the original xbox is truly a beast when it's modded We even got like its own screensaver going on here. It says Xbox soft modding tool. Really cool. All right, and our game is done. Just to show you, there is no game in the original Xbox at all. So I'm gonna take it out and just to show you that it will play without the game. So we'll go ahead and load up the game here. There we go, Mortal Kombat Deception. Loads up the game. And boom. There you have it. I'm playing Mortal Kombat Deception without the disc in my Xbox. As you can see, my disc tray is still open and the game's playing. Really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe. And I'm sorry I kind of shortened the video but i hope this helped out